Hello, welcome to The Kitchen Spy. My name is Kate and here's another video for you. And this time it's a haul from Aldi and from Tesco. I just had to go to Tesco to get a few of the things that I couldn't get from Aldi. But again, I'm just really pleased with the economy of it all. Um, and Aldi has some really lovely food in there and the meat is all good. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And it does feel really good to actually be out there and um, out there and really shopping rather than just doing it online. I hope that you are all safe and well and that uh, you're able to get everything that you want for your family. Um, yeah, so uh, it's been a busy week and hence why I have been all over the place with my uploading. I'm going to try and get back to some kind of regular uploading, but at the moment I'm just uh, whacking them out as soon as I've got them ready. So here's the haul and let's have a look at what we ate this week or this week. So here's this week's shopping. So it's a combination of mainly Aldi and some Tesco for the things that I couldn't get from Aldi. And yeah, I'm quite pleased with what I've bought and I'll just run through with you um, individually the items that I bought and talk about what we're going to cook this week. So I've got some dry cured back bacon. This is British back bacon outdoor bread from Aldi some cod loins sustainably sourced um, and this is from Aldi again and um, with this I'm going to be doing a um, I'm going to be doing fish with the cheese topping sauce and some vegetables and um, some Jersey raw potatoes which brilliantly I managed to get this week some steak mints, 5% fat, and that will be going into a cottage pie, which I'm planning to do on Saturday. And then some coconut milk, and this is the Aldi one, so I'll see how I get on with that, but it's quite considerably cheaper, so hopefully it'll be okay. Lacto-free skim milk, I had to go to Tesco for that. So um, Aldi do do, do do, do do. Sorry, <laughs> Aldi do um, uh, uh, lacto-free milk, but they only do semi-skimmed, and I don't like that. So um, I find semi-skimmed too creamy, which is mad, really. <laughs> um, then some Alpro. Again, I had to get these from Tesco. These are the dark ones, which my husband prefers. Uh, they did actually have in the middle aisle of Aldi the Alpro uh, chocolate one and so these were £1.55 each from Tesco and they were 75p in Aldi but as I say he prefers the dark chocolate ones. Some of the sunflower dairy free light spread again from my husband and um, um, for those of you who haven't watched my channel before or you're fairly new, my husband is gluten free, he's not dairy free but we limit dairy in whenever we can on things um, so that's why we have a combination of dairy free stuff and normal dairy. Some olives with feta. British free range chicken breasts and that's going to be for I'm going to do some kind of um, tandoori or tikka style chicken pieces and I'm going to serve that with some dal um, I might even do the um, uh, the mung dal um, that I, I used for a recipe recently then we've got quite a bit of um, in the way of um, sandwich meat so I just got some butter basted chicken breasts, uh, slices um, and some cheese, some Welsh mature cheddar, we've had this before and it's really nice, some grana padano just for um, like pasta dishes and things. Then these little minis again, I got these in the Aldi haul last week and they were really nice. Um, I mean they are quite calorific I guess at 132 calories each but you know just for a treat. A couple of bottles of gluten-free beer for my husband. Some of these skin on fries. Now I bought these last week as well and um, they're in the caravan freezer so I've, um, I'm home now. So I bought some for home. Some reduced fat, soft cheese, garlic and herbs. And we quite like using that on um, sandwiches instead of butter. And it just gives the sandwich like a little bit of extra flavour. 
Then I've got a couple of packs of wonky blueberries. Um, they don't look wonky to me, and so I thought I would try them. And then some brown onions. I ran out of onions today, um, today, last week, this week, whatever. It's Wednesday today. So, um, yeah, I was out shopping and in the morning and it was like uh, it was very quiet in Aldi and Tesco and it was very weird because um yeah I was thinking oh, I've got to get back I should be logged on and then I'm thinking uh no actually I shouldn't be logged on but <laughs> there you go um and then some limes purple sprout and broccoli we had this last week and it was really nice there was also just some ordinary sprouting broccoli but it had in fact sprouted and it had got yellow flowers on it so i didn't buy that albert bartlett potatoes which i like and a couple of packs of jersey royals which I managed to get from aldi and i got two packs and if you keep them in the fridge they do last so yeah i was pleased to get those this week and i'll have those uh, with some fish uh, cauliflower either for uh, cauliflower cheese or for side desserts I don't know what this is doing here uh, it shouldn't be there uh, coriander which I'll use in the dal when I do the chicken and I was reading online because I throw a lot of coriander away and I was reading online that if you put it with the stems not the leaves but the stems in water like in a jam jar or something and then put that in a cool place and cover the whole thing with a plastic bag not too tight then it lasts for ages apparently so I'm going to give that a go this week and I will let you know um, what I think. Some salad so tonight I'm going to do a um, uh, omelette and salad so uh, rather than buy lettuce because we're eating it straight away I got one of these bistro salads and uh, they are nice and get, so having lettuce is fine and well but it um, it's just not as flavoursome as having lots of different types of salad leaves so I bought that a pack of peppers and again these are the cheaper ones the mixed peppers rather than the sweet peppers but I've not got any issues with those uh, broccoli um, again for sides green beans these were on the super six as was the cucumber I don't really know what that means I think it just means they're cheaper I've shown you a cauliflower uh, red onions and then some mushy peas and some marrow fat peas because we'll be having oh man I meant to get some gluten-free fish fingers from Tesco and I forgot we won't be having gluten-free fish fingers this week we'll be having something else <laughs> some cider from uh, Aldi because it was quite nice uh, a couple of packs of easy peelers some classic basmati rice these are 35 pence a sachet or a packet some of the lentil curls which I like and also some of the ready salted crisps again which I like now I'm not sure this is going to be a good uh swap or even experiment but I bought the Aldi coffee for my husband he has um, an espresso every morning uh, at kind of like mid-morning with his second breakfast because yes he is a hobbit um, and um, he's not a hobbit uh, so I thought I'd try this and see what it's like and uh, it was it was cheap so I'm not expecting a lot so if it's a disaster then it's not the end of the world but you've got to try these things. Who knows? It might be the best coffee in the world. I hate coffee. All coffee is horrible to me. Then some Tunnock's tea cakes and uh, some uh, chicken stock pots, tomatoes, paracetamol. And then I saw these and I got, um, yeah, I got swept up with these. I didn't really need nine mini sponge tarts from mini Mr. Kipling, but I just saw them and I thought they were nice and they are basically 104 calories each which is the same as a Kit Kat and so I thought that would just be a little bit different um so yeah they look nice some of that wholemeal bread I had from Aldi last week which was only 40p and it was really nice I always have the 400 gram loaf because I find the other bread too too big really for a lunch then I got this Colgate sensitive upside down sensitive again from Aldi 
snowballs we haven't had those for a while those are gluten free and they're lovely so i was pleased with those some kit kats and some more of these chocolate salted roasted chocolate salted roasted chocolate salted caramel rice cakes those are from tesco and then i got some of my husband's uh, pancakes from tesco as well so yeah all in all i'm quite pleased and we've got um again i'm using a little bit of meat from the freezer and i'm making sure that we're using things and i'm just double checking before i go shopping to make sure that we haven't already got the things that i might want to buy um so i'm really pleased with what i spent on this which was um in aldi i spent just looking over my shoulder i spent 58 pounds and 31 pence and in tesco i spent 17 pounds and 50 pence so altogether that's uh 75 pounds and 81 pence which i think is absolutely brilliant um there is an absence of wine you will notice and there's no gin and um that's because um you know really we're not on holiday now so we're, we won't be drinking in the week and um i'm also going to try and reduce the amount we drink at the weekend not because we're being parsimonious or even sanctimonious just um it just makes sense really at the moment for us so that's what we're going to do um so i um yeah so we are looking for another little car um because we um, obviously had to give well not obviously but i had a company car so that's had to go back so we're looking for another little car and when i was in the tesco car park i was looking at one of the models that we were thinking of getting and uh, I got busted and didn't realise that the man who owns the car was actually sat in it whilst I was looking through the window. <laughs> so it's a bit embarrassing. Anyway, so if you're leaving at this point, thanks very much for watching. And if you're staying on, then there'll be a little bit of video footage of some kind of Wales thing, either Mid Wales or West Wales. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye. Okay, so thanks for staying on. Um, this is a day out in Pembrokeshire that we had. So we went to we went back to T Canal Woods. So these are the ancient woodlands that are near to um, the burial chamber that we saw, um, Pentre Ivan. And these woods are just utterly spectacular. I just can't I can't kind of describe how lovely they are I mean they're on um this was on the edge of the woods clearly there are no, no trees apart from in the distance here but this was on the edge of the woods looking out towards the rest of the Priscelli hills and it, it is just such a lovely place to be and the sky as you could see there is all all uh, well just massive with those lovely Simpsons type clouds um they always remind me of the Simpsons those clouds Anyway, this woodland, it's just really magical. It's like the kind of place you would expect to find fairies and things. And uh, there are lots of little um, built things that kids or whoever have obviously built. Like th that was a little kind of woodwork, um, woodwork, um, a little um, encampment, if you like, made from uh, trees. And this um, is an ancient wall an ancient stone wall and the moss on it is just wonderful and there's all rocks tumbling around and this area of the countryside and this is um close to the place where the um stonehenge stones came from um this entire surface of of the area is just covered in 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 kind of tumbling rocks and these, because they're in the woodland, have grown moss on them. And they're just, honestly, I know I, I keep saying it, but it's really enchanted place. And then some beautiful, um, I think they are orchids. I don't know exactly what um, type of orchid they are, but they were just really beautiful. And even the leaves were gorgeous and the stems, as you can see, were kind of purpley spotty so yeah just really lovely and again another sculpture made out of well it looks like fallen trees rotten trees or whatever um there is um a earth center which um is quite close to here so i imagine they run kind of um 
I don't know, outward bound courses for kids and things. But anyway, uh, I just thought I'd share that with you because um, it is really lovely. Ancient woodland. And if you're ever in Pembrokeshire, it's called Tea Canal and definitely worth a visit. And it's free. So that's it, really. Um, the hall and a little bit of uh, West Wales. So I will be uploading meals of the week uh, later in the week uh, at some point. I'm not sure when because I've got a really busy week this week. Um, I've got to go to the dentist on Tuesday, which I'm really not looking forward to because that's the actual treatment. Um, I'm just dreading that. And hopefully we'll sort the car situation out and without getting arrested for looking in people's cars. Oh, that was so embarrassing. Anyway, um, yeah, so um, yeah, so hopefully I'll get something out towards the end of uh, the week. And apologies, there's no recipes and things. I'm just, uh, we're catching up on some decorating and uh, we're just uh, trying to get some stuff sorted while um, we're, we're kind of waiting to get into our new routine, whatever that may be. But uh, anyway, um, I'm just banging on now. So I'll leave you and thanks so much for watching. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribing, subscribing, subscribe, then perhaps you would like to and give the uh, subscribe button a click. And of course, if you press the notification button that too, then you'll get to know when I upload videos which at the moment as I'm being a bit all over the place is probably a useful thing to do anyway thanks very much for watching you take care stay safe and take care of you and those that you love I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching bye bye